So this quest is gonna be for the demon's test. For this first part, it's just paying attention to what the um, the narrator says. It's gonna tell you pretty much have to make a Pegasus. So with the sword, you have to point the sword down. For some reason, it didn't work the first time around when I did this, but it worked this time. Just point the sword down, turn the horse towards the left, and turn the eagle towards the left, and you should have it done. This part's pretty easy. So the second part of the quest, I'm gonna use numbers to explain what I mean. And before you look at me like the numbers, basically. What do they mean? I'm gonna make it easier for everyone to correspond numbers to colors instead of just doing the colors. Now I'm assuming the sequence is the same for everyone, they're not using some smart AI system that changed the sequence for everyone. So if the sequence is the same for everyone, this is what the sequence is. 2, 5, 6, 4, 3, 1, 3, 2. The only part I'm not sure about is having to press the angels button to start the challenge, but I do it just in case. Uh, so talk to the angel, press challenge, and then you start pressing the colors in the correct order. And then once you get to the end, it should be um, it should spawn the teleport circle, and that's how you know you complete the challenge. From there, you get to move on to the next challenge. Surprise! It's numbers again. So the order for this one is four, five, two, three, three, five. And this one, for some reason, it's invisible when you're doing it. Um, it's probably just a bug. The reason I found out how to do this is because of a leveling guide that someone made that was a few hours long, and somewhere throughout it, it showed this part specifically. And so I was, let me go ahead and condense this down so that people can find an easy way to do this and find this out quick. For this part, you don't need to activate anything. You just have to go in and press the buttons in the right order. And once you do that, it should be done. Like I said, it's just invisible. Um, it's a bug more than likely. I turned around the entire map. There was nothing behind me. So that's pretty much it to this part. So if you're a console like me and you fail, you're going to want to use the control menu to exit. And then you can come back in and just go to the teleporter. But on this part, you're just going to run straight. Hit the edge, and when you hit the edge, you're gonna feel it because it's gonna make you stop. You're gonna jump forward and then keep walking. Hit the next edge, jump forward, keep walking, jump forward, keep walking until you make it to the other side. That's all you have to do. This part's super easy, and that completes the entire mission. And that finishes the demon's um, test and gets you the codex complete. And so, with that being complete, you now have unlocked Lady Kamarshira. Lady Kamarshia, there we go. That, that's how you say her name, yeah. You get her, she's probably one of the best guardians in the game. She pops a shield on you when the shield is up, your cooldown speed is increased by 40%, which means your skills are going to pop off faster. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope this video helped you out when it comes to unlocking Lady Kamarshia. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, folks.